June 12th, and Cinder just had, yesterday, her litter of seven babies. Six boys and one girl. You did very well. Yes, you did. Let's look at the babies one by one. First one is a... I don't know if he's a blue smoke or a blue silver tabby or a silver tabby, but he's a beautiful little boy. I can't remember when he was born. God, it was all day yesterday I sat with her while she had these babies. Okay, that's the f one boy. And this is the boy with the V on his back. We'll call him V for short. He's got a really pretty face, too. Oh, my goodness. And then we got this guy with all the dots going down his back. Let me look at his little face. We're all going to have pretty faces. Yes, nice fan pattern on the face and hopefully blue or odd eyes. And those are the three... Did I get everybody? Those are the three... Yeah, this is the one that's got the tabby lines. So he's either a smoke and those are ghost tabby lines or he's actually a tabby. I don't know if the father carries is a tabby or not because he has hardly any color and I can't really see if he has lines. And then we have the cream and whites. Or they're cameo and whites. I can't tell at this point. They're a pale color. And if they're um, white at the root, they'll be cameos. This one's definitely a cream. Let's see, is this the girl? Oh, it's hard to tell. This one's got a lot of color. And it's a boy. He's got a splash of color down his back. Then we have, come on guys, let's be a little cooperative here. Oh, this is another little boy. And this one might be a cameo because there's some variation on the, the color. In some areas it's darker than others. It might be a cream cameo or cream uh, cameo tabby in white, but it's also a boy. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys, did I do you yet? This is the one that also looks like a cameo because there's variations in the color. It's darker in some areas, so um, it could be a, a red. A cameo is a red with uh, white at the root, and it could be a red tabby uh, or a red, what's called a cameo, a cam cameo tabby and white. But at this age, it's hard to tell. Or he could be a cream cameo, or he could be a cream showing lines, which all solid colors that are red or cream do show some lines, even though they're not tabbies. It's kind of confusing with the red gene. But anyhow, this is also a boy. He's going to have really pretty markings. Let's see what else we got here. Did I get everybody? No, there's another one. This is the girl. She's almost all white. Well, I'm thinking, is the girl? Yes, this is the girl. I'm thinking she might be otter blue eyed. She's really pretty. But she's all white, except for color on her head and tail. Just a little bit of a, a spot on her hip, but, um, and she's definitely a cream and white, like her daddy. Did I get everybody? God, it's a feeding frenzy. It's lunchtime. Did I get you? Let me see. Yeah, you're the... No, I didn't get you. Maybe I did get you. Oh, it's too confusing. Anyhow, this is uh, a boy as well. He's definitely a cream and white. <sighs> 
Anyhow, they're all doing well so far. First 72 hours is the critical period for newborns. If they get past that uh, point, then it, it seems they're in, out of the woods, so to speak, for a while anyhow. Next critical period is when they're fully weaned, which is between six and eight weeks. Um, Cinder, you are doing so good. There's somebody upside down here that's not getting a nipple. Let's turn you over. I can make sure everybody has nipples. Oh, they're just such beautiful babies. And they're so soft, so healthy and vigorous, which is great. Mom is pooped. Aren't you? She did really well. I helped a little bit when the babies start coming really fast halfway through the process. Got the uh, dry ones out of the way and cut some cords and tied them off and helped. They didn't really need much help other than that. Not like some mothers where the babies come out and they're real sluggish. These came out, you know, fighting and screaming and wanting to live. So that's always a good sign. Okay, well... It's hard to really see much except just wanted to give you a quick update on the birth of these beautiful babies. It looks like they're all dilute, which is amazing when the mother is a torty. And that's dominant color and dilute is very recessive. Now the father is a cream and white, so that's not totally surprising, but the fact that all of them are dilute when the mother is dominant color, I think I should go out and buy a lottery ticket. That just doesn't happen very often. Doesn't happen at all, ever. <laughs> Anyhow, these are the babies, and this is Cinder, and everybody's doing well, and this is the first day of their lives, and they're all eating well and growing. So, to make sure that keeps happening. That's all. Bye.